And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, No here, or no there, or behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Isaiah 32 Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. Because, hey amen, we angels too. We're just wrapped in this flesh, but we have that angelic spirit within us, man. The difference between an angel and us, they don't have the flesh. They're already perfected, okay? There are spirits of fire. That spirit is within these earthen vessels that we hold right now, okay? And we're fighting to get back in that state which we had from before, that glory which we had from before. Only difference is we're going to rule in planet Earth in new flesh. All right, so we're going to have those angelic spirits that we have right now in newer, sinless flesh. All right, we're going to be perfected as our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is perfected. And he's going to rule in the planet Earth with 144,000 ruling under him, all being perfected in perfect flesh with the angelic spirits, with angelic power. Okay. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Shalom. we would like to give all praise on you. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to our younger brothers and peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful lake out there, pushing his word and truth and in Sicilia across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful legs that believe with the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema All right. Um, what we're gonna get into today, all right, with the brother Jill Miss Mississippi Camp, you know, another weekly lesson. All right, going into as in the days of Noah, all right, because as we know, all right, Yahweh Shah, you know, spoke of the end of this age, all right, being liking unto the days of Noah, you know, so we're going to touch on some of those points. And what um we want to do real quick just to show. Now, this is from a Netflix documentary dealing with the days of Noah, and it's pretty informative. Now, you know, it's done by some Christians, you know, because, you know, some of them Christian scholars, you know, really get, in, really get into some things. And, uh, you know, uh, you got to pick out you know the bones you know but it's it's quite a bit of meat 
you know, when you go into this docu documentary from Amazon, uh, the days of Noah, you know, and, and, and it paints a picture, you know. Um, so let's uh, play on the first 50 seconds of it, kind of lay a foundation, and then we'll go into the scriptures, you know, Lord will, you brothers <clears throat> and you sisters are edified. All right, so um, let me play. The events that took place in Noah's day foreshadowed the events that are going to take place at the end of time. Uh, history is repeating itself. I'm sure the Lord looks down from heaven now. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the Son of Man. And we're seeing that in the world today. The, the violence in the land, the selfishness, the self-worship. They weren't paying attention and they didn't know that the flood was going to come, despite 120 years of preaching. We have the remains of 10,000 or more dinosaurs. It certainly speaks of catastrophe. The earth itself is both a record and a prophecy, warning us of another judgment still to come. But when? So yeah, I just we just want to play that, you know, kind of set the tone. All right, because we're in them days now, you know, history, all right, is repeating itself, and prophecy tell us that history will repeat itself. So, um, I had anything to say? I didn't go straight to the Matthew for the brother, and I had some. All right, uh. So yeah, I started Matthew 24. Like I said, you got it, brother. Um, you know, yeah, Matthew 24 and 36, it says, But of that day and hour know of no man, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also um the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day. And Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> again, just as what well, just as it was in the days when Noah doing all that preaching, you know, people ignoring the, the message that was going out, they continue living their lives, you know, like not you know, without a care in the world. Of um of the judgment that was coming because they didn't they didn't believe that the most high dealt with Noah and that there was gonna become a flood and because that and they never seen or they never seen the rain. And um but can you get that last verse that you read in the NLT? That 38. Yeah, they said they do not. Yeah, come, bro. I said they knew not until the uh, until the flood came and took them all away. This is uh, Matthew twenty-four and thirty-eight in the uh, NLT. Okay, yep. It says in those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time that Noah entered his boat. Was this, let's see. <clears throat> I think it was the next one. Let's see. 30 oh. the, the part where it said it knew not until, you know, until the time. Yeah, that was 38. Let's see. They say he, he, until the time he entered into the boat. Mm hmm. It just say boat instead of ark. Yeah, that was, that was what I just read. Gonna read again. Okay, uh, do 39. Do 39, bro. Uh, 39 and mm -hmm. NLT. Okay. All right, this is on um, Matthew 24 and 39. Uh, let's see, NLT says, People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. Yeah, so despite. You know, like the Edomite was saying, you know, that Christian was saying, despite all the preaching that Noah was doing for 100, 100 plus years, 
they still didn't know what was going to happen, even though they heard it, you know, but they just kept putting it on them, you know, to the back of their mind. You know, they just kept, they was basically ignoring the message. And it's going to be just like that in a time when Yahweh Shah come. And even before Yahweh Shah come, when all these uh, disasters come upon the world, all these evils grow up in the earth. And, and these people don't have, a, um, they don't have any type of, of stability or knowledge, you know, of, 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 of prophecy, you know. Though you got the men constantly pushing the same message, you know, just as Noah were, just as Noah was doing, like these people still they don't they still don't they still don't get it. They don't they don't get it. They don't they have not um they, they basically they have not they have not jumped aboard, you know, they have not left this world behind, but they continue to to be uh swallowed up, you know, by this world and in in and, and basically involving themselves. In the in the uh the fine the dinery the, the banquets the weddings the partying you know the bullshitting until until your house shot come you know doing the same doing the same thing over and over and 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 and, and that the evil's growing and the wickedness uh in, increasing in the earth exactly bro i got a quick one for you okay it's back through 16 and one it says the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempted, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said, when it is evening, you say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? Yeah, this is how I say, hey, basically, you can discern. You can you can tell uh and you can tell when it's about to rain or if you if it's gonna be a, a a cold snap or whatnot you know whether it's gonna be cloudy or, or it's gonna be hot the next day you know but you cannot discern the times that we that we are living in some we're, we're living in some evil times we're living in a time where the son of man is finna get finna get ready to crack them clouds man you know he finna get ready to come in and visit the world which he made man you know you, you can't you can't tell that Basically, you can tell evil's increasing, and then people are people are fucking wigging out and going crazy. You know, the love of many wax and cold, but you're not lining it up with the scriptures, saying, "Hey, well, hey, I need to be if if we get close to this time and this is the end of the world, I need to be getting myself right with the Lord." You know, mm -hmm. yeah. But our people, hey, our people, they just hey, they they ignorance. You know, they they destroy for the lack of knowledge. Can you get up if, if a brother in heaven yeah i got a quick one I, I got a quick one real quick bro if i can get uh hebrews What'd 11 hebrews chapter 11 one. verse 7. Oh, he, he going, go. oh, Salah, Salah. no no go ahead uh you got it. oh i i just want to rock five and seven say so rock five and seven mm. All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. It said, Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. I come. Uh, like, you know, like the days of Noah, they, they really weren't worried about nothing but uh, having a good time. Was they married to get him to marry? Pardon, basically, pardon, really. And the truth just said, make no charity to turn back to y'all about some shot. And that's what a lot of people, a lot of people keep putting the Lord off. Each and every day, they like, uh, I'm, I'm going to get right mm, two days, this and that. And this. Guess what? The Lord going to show up out of the blue. And people just going to be caught with their pants down, man. And, and all this shit mm -hmm. they, they got, like, like their money. And that, like the that truth just said, uh, and the security, you know, you know they all trusting their whole K. Their houses, car, job, they trust in bullshit that they, they can't save them. Cause when the Lord come back, it gonna be bam, and, and it's over. What you gonna do? You, you, you gonna tell the Lord, wait, 
I gotta do this. No, it's gonna, it gonna be over. The Wayne game, it's, it's time to find the Lord now. Stop putting the Lord off. All right, but that's all I got, bro. On that, gone, bro. What you had, yeah. I mean, uh, on uh, the uh, uh, Hebrews 11, um, uh, verse 7 in the NLT. And it's just kind of like to just highlight a little more on uh, Matthew 24 and 39. Say Hebrews 11 and 7 in the NLT. Come on, bro. All right, there's a book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 7. Uh, in the NLT. And they used to have the NLT, the third one, but they like they change every time you click on here. You go. This is the NLT, Hebrews 11 7. The NLT says it was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed the most high okay, warned him about things. Like, bro, I just want to kind of chop it up a little bit on there because say, you know, it was his faith. You know what I'm saying? By his faith that Noah built the uh, large boat to save his family, right? So um, this was the ongoing process, man. This was a very large boat. Okay, so it wasn't built overnight. So people are seeing Noah teaching, you know, preaching giving warning to people while he's building this art i'm sure he's sure he's speaking on judgment as we are building the spiritual art we're on the high wisdom byways you know what I'm saying we're doing videos we're making our bodies living sacrifice and we're we're going building the spiritual art warning people man just like noah did you got it bro come on. this is uh back in hebrews 11 and 7 and nlt says he obeyed the most high who warned him about the things that had never happened before by this faith right Noah condemned the rest it's a lot of wrong yeah. people couldn't go but it yeah. is to warn about thing, some things that never happened before the flood had never happened before so apparently Noah was speaking on judgment of the lord that was coming to the earth for being so wicked Are, we're, we're warning the people today man about the uh judgment how about shimmy out shot about the uh nuclear missile that comes you know about jacob's trouble these people have never seen this before. People ain't never seen complete chaos in the in, uh, lands of Babylon, okay, America. You know, they have been pacified, catered to, and, and, and somewhat so-called protected, man. But that's all about to come to an end. This is going to be complete chaos in this land, man. And we're right. warning the people of these things, just like Noah did, but as in the days of Noah, they will continue to be married, getting married, partying, bullshitting, you know, just enjoying itself and, and, and keeping a, a blind eye to what's really happening around them, man. Hence, listening to uh, seeing Noah building a, a, a big boat while he's teaching and preaching and speaking about the Lord, man. You got it, bro. Yeah, what's, and what's the major thing that these people ain't seen before that's to come? Say it again, bro. They ain't seen the missile, yeah. The, uh, like the, uh, the right, exactly. The headline, exactly. Like we never seen a nuclear <laughs> exchange between nations before, you know. So, right, is it, is right. It rain? You know, now the Lord is gonna rain missiles. You know, he because you like uh the elder R one, he went into it. When you see a rain, and you see um that raindrop hit the ground. It made like a little mushroom cloud, you know. It made like the, the rain same. Drop, yeah. yeah, it splash, you know. It made like that, that uh, uh the nuclear, you know, uh, 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 smoke, you know. So it's like the Lord was always prophesying about their future judgment, you know. Even when rain hit the surface, how it make that splash. If you look at it closely, you know, it's like a uh, a, a nuclear cloud. You know, so now we in a time let's say when well, Lord made it rain, well this time he's gonna make it rain, you know, this you know, the windows from on high gonna be open, you know. That's right, bro. Um finishing out, it said by his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world 
and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. Right. And he said he condemned the rest of the world. Meaning, you know, especially when it comes to Israel, those who don't repent, okay, those who don't turn from their ways of wickedness, you know, turn back to how about Simi Al Shah, condemn, you know, one thing goes into is they're going to be unfit for the kingdom of heaven. That's why they're going to have to be destroyed on this side, you know what I'm saying, and come back to the loins of the elect in their right minds, man, with that, 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 that head hanging low for shame for a period of time. You know, and they're going to be doomed just like the rest of the uh, uh, the people right here in Babylon. You know, saying that those who's going to uh, reap the wrath of your house shy when he comes back, man. But for the elect who endure and continue fighting, you know, we're going to uh, receive that crown of life, man. Righteousness, okay, because of our faith to be delivered, man, to be uh, uh, uh being up on those chariots, man. And though the scripture goes into someone who will be beheaded, okay, for uh Yahweh Bashimi Shah, but it also says those who die and Yahweh Bashimi Shah should be risen first, man. So it will be an honorable death, if you will, you know. But nevertheless, nothing is new under the sun, man. Just like in the days of Noah, as the brother lesson was going into, a warning is going out, okay. A warning is continually was going out and people didn't take heed. Just like today, a warning is going out and people are not taking heed. You know, they're not acknowledging that there's a higher power sending the message throughout the globe, man. You know, but, you know, they don't believe. So it's going to come a point when, when the action is going to really be intensified. And then they're going to believe. They're, like scripture said, they're going to know a prophet was a monster. But it's going to be too late then, man. That's why the Lord still have his hands stretched out, man. The prophets are still on the highways and byways, so there's a chance. But just like in the days of Noah, eventually, the ark door was closed, man. So eventually, the Lord is going to take his prophets off the highways and byways. And things are going to continually, rapidly speed up. That's all I have, brother. Okay. Uh, what you had, young yacht? Genesis six and five down through nine. Okay, go. Uh, uh, yep. We right here in the time of Genesis, as it's gonna describe it. You know, cause we in Genesis the sixth chapter now. All right, the post flood. You know, what the brothers call it post flood behavior. Um, this is uh the book of Genesis, chapter six, verse five. It says, And the most I saw that wickedness, that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Right, because see, you got all these niggas and these he women, and you know, all these people here on the earth, their their minds are just given unto wickedness, you know. Every every all their thoughts is not how how they're gonna serve the Lord. That their thoughts is how how the hell can they get out on one another, and how can they um do evil towards one another, and and how can they do some shit behind someone back without being caught, you know about or without um uh pay, paying the price of, of 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 evil doing, you know. And 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 this is this is, and this is what we live in is, and this is why you how about Shmuel was shot. So evil uh have exceedingly polluted the earth, man. You know, because uh, hey, these these people, if, if 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 you're not part of the elect, their mind is polluted. You know, their mind is polluted and it's going astray. You how about Shmuel Shah's mind? You got it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. verse six. It says, "And they repented the Lord that He had made man on the earth, and they grieved Him at His heart." And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with the Most High. Yep, and this, this, this is Zechariah 13 chapter, you know. Uh, you know, in today's time, 
You know what? The Lord is going to find grace. Uh, it's like the elect is going to find grace in the eyes of Yahweh Al Shai, while the rest of the world, uh, the west, the rest of the land, um, basically be condemned and destroyed. You know, al along with with these with these animals and you know, and everything else. You know, just like the flood. But we know that this place by being is going to be a, um, it's going to be a land for desert creatures. But Yahweh Shmuel Shai is going to get rid of them these wild brute beasts. That's, you know, that's that's basically um, walking on the earth now. You know, take, taking the Lord's name in vain, misusing the prophets. Um, here, here it is. They don't think that they don't think that right now they don't because how about Shemuel Shai having destroyed them or broke or, or basically giving them these um, uh, these benefits still. They don't think that Yahweh Shemuel Shai sending men out to give them warning. You know, they don't they don't think you how about they they think you how about Shemuel Shah is supposed to come off the throne and come and give them warning. You know, they want they want the Lord to come tell them to their face, you know, but but this is the Lord telling them to their face because those the men that's out there on the highways and byways and those men are signing the crime, hey, telling you, telling these people that hey, this is your how about Shemuel, this is this is all you're gonna get. This is what you how about Shemuel Shah is giving you, and you only got a, a, a selected time before. And he said, "Hey, that's it, hey, you know, and 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 withdraw his prophets, and 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 just and let let the uh, that 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 death spirit, you know, just reign in Babylon, you know, and, and throughout mm -hmm. certain parts of the earth." I'm gonna read verse eleven too. It says, "The earth, in Genesis six and eleven, said the earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence." And you see that now they're loving men in wax and cold, you know. People people quick to set up one another, you know. Again, when I was going into camp, we got these backdoor uh what, what you call them backdoor bras. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, quick to set up a nigga, get them, get them um get them robbed and killed. You know, you these niggas, these niggas um they're killing each other over a woman, you know, committing adultery. Nigga ain't got no nigga don't have a sense of uh compassion towards one another for his brother. You know, and, and basically niggas getting killed over nothing, man. Yeah, there's no value of life. Yep. Niggas getting killed over the you smallest shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't just say, yeah, niggas getting killed over the smallest shit, man. You know, when when all it took was to, to just turn, consider, you know, consider your ways and turn back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, re repent. God, God. You had some anybody else has some? I got one real quick, bro. Yeah, I got some. Um second address. Started uh second address uh fifteen and started verse 15. four and read that read down to verse seven. Alright. It's the book of Second Ezra. Uh, one, two. All right, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, starting at verse four. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world of sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. God. And and this is pretty much the same reason why the Lord flooded the earth, man. Because of the wickedness, you know what I'm saying, the filth, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, people just fulfilling their own lust, you know, not considering the how about some out shot, you know, and, and and these plagues, I mean, the rain was put that rain dropped, man. That rain that came upon the earth during the flood was a plague, man. 
you know, and it brought what? It brought for death, destruction. It was a, a sword that the Lord used men to destroy these people. You know, but in this given time, the Lord, as he did uh a script going on by teaming, he is using these different countries with their scientists, their engineers, and all these things to create these missiles, man. These nuclear uh uh missiles with all these different uh nuclear heads on them. You know, this is gonna be like the uh, uh people going to earlier, the, these raindrops, man. Okay, that's gonna be bathed in the earth, in the heavens. So a lot of people gonna be bathed in the heavens and come back down to the earth, man. Which is gonna bring forth death, destruction, because of the wickedness that has exceedingly polluted the earth in this time, just like in the uh, 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 days of Noah. But this time, you got the alphabet community, you got people, you know, marrying the same same sex marriage, you know, pollution of the food, the water, you know, the air, you know, people uh, uh, just being petties and. It's just, I mean, anything you think of, adultery, every, everything that you could think of that pertains to wickedness is running rapidly now, man. Because this is Esau's fuel for his uh, 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 rulership, man. He's a left-handed demon, okay? He's the devil. And this is what he wants, and this is what he thrives on, man. But the Lord has allowed this man to go so far, and now he's going to take him out, man, because he, he, he's doing too much. And once again, he's furthering his affliction, man, and this throughout the whole globe. So he has to be put down, man. He's like a he's like a dog with rabies, man. You get, you just can't let a dog with rabies just roam around continually, man. Because he's gonna he's gonna infect. He's gonna be a danger to anybody coming this path, man. So he got to be put down. And what I want to do real quick, uh, what precept you had, Tyler? Uh, um. Uh, Second uh, Peter's three and uh and ten in the NLT. It's the book of Second Peter's, chapter three. You say you want in the NLT? All right, Second Peter chapter three verse ten in the NLT said, "But the day of the Lord will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Then the heavens will pass away with a terrible noise, and the very elements themselves will disappear in fire, and the earth and everything on it uh, will be found to deserve judgment." Come, he just said, "It said, but the day of the Lord will come unexpectedly. That, that's like when it rain, when when it rain happened." Hey, they didn't think about no rain. You know, but like I said, they had their bullshitting, bullshitting party, they having a good time. So that, that's how Logan went. That's how Logan come back unexpected. And like I said, like a thief, and y'all know how a thief is, man. You you know, you, you hate a fucking thief now. And a thief, I always get you when you're un, unexpected, man. You think everything all good. But when the law show up, bam. People just going a lot of people going to go shit that still, really. But people, people, people ain't gonna know what's going on because they ain't paying attention. They're not watching the news. They they not doing nothing. But 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 like I say, I seen it say some seen some today at on uh, at my job. These motherfuckers putting up uh Halloween shit already. Halloween. We still in fucking August. They people got Halloween shit up already. They're not watching. They they're not watching nothing. Shit soon Halloween on Thanksgiving and Christmas. And you know, and and during this time, this time of year, people are all, all, all in that uh that, that spirit, what that spirit they always be in. The giving spirit, I guess. And they, they really ain't paying attention to, to 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 the news. All right. But that's all I got, bro. Come on, bro. Uh real quick, I wanna um just show that. So, so you see this is uh let me see which one so this is a um what their raindrop look like you know you look at this raindrop hitting the water and that's what it looked like 
And when you compare it to the nuclear uh, missile, uh, where we at right here, you should be able to see the resemblance. You see that? It just yeah. fire, you know? So even that rain, <laughs> the splash that it make, you know, was a, was a telltale, okay, of the second death, you know? The first death was the flood, but the um, second death, okay, is going to be by uh, by fire, you know? So, yeah, man, this is, uh, <laughs> this is that time. I think that's in uh you had some yum yuck. Come on, bro. You just had some in um Ezekiel what you got, bro? Ezekiel 33 and 31 down to 33. Come on. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, and verse 31. And it says, oh, hold on, let me share the screen. All right, Ezekiel 33, verse 31 in the KJV, and it says, And they come unto thee as the people coming. Um, I'm sorry, 30 it says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are taken are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the house and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. And they come unto thee as, as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear the words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And the point is that they should know that a prophet have been among them. You know, and these people, just as in the time of Noah, after after Noah doing all that prophesying and preaching, when the Lord sealed them up in the ship, hey, then they knew, <coughs> you know, that the people knew this this was from this was from the Most High, you know. Mo, Noah was he was from the Most High. He was he was delivering us uh, sh straight commandments, you know, letting us know what we should do. But but now it's too late, and it's going to be like that in the times that are coming, and 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 the world know about Noah's ark. The world know about Noah and and how Noah was delivered. They know how the world was uh, destroyed. You know, Christianity teach you all this, and and here it is. You got and this is how you know how people just them just just playing out just stupid man. They don't want to. They just just rebellious as hell because even those you know those, those Christians that you showed in the beginning of the, um, the, the video, they was telling you how bad things are gonna be, and and. It, evidently history is going to repeat itself you know just to know that history is going to repeat itself and then you got the men out there warning people telling people to get right before uh before the destruction come you they can't put two and two together for some reason man you know but but we already know it's of your house shop and 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 it's because he got filming that um that state mm -hmm. of that state of blindness you know mm -hmm. he got them, he got them blind to where it's going to be at their demise, you know, and our and our people, they don't. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of your Habashim Yahusha, you know, and, and this is why. This is why the Lord, again, willing is for that. It's for that grace that we be found. Um, that we find that grace in your Habashim Yahusha that He deliver us just at the time of Noah. Then these people, and they're gonna know. Hey, then they're gonna snap the hell out of it at the last minute, you know. Damn. They got pulled up, you know. They they should be amazed at the strangest of strangest of our salvation. Mm. They, they gonna know then what we were saying was just the words of the heavenly father, you know. Gone, bro. <clears throat> that last minute, there's gonna be a lot of people look up 
you know, and see them missiles and it's going to hit, you know, yeah. but you're going to see the elect being changed and going on the chariots, okay, while the missiles is on the way down. So the Lord got a perfect ending to this movie, man. You know, we just got to endure. You know, the Lord has set us up with, you know, uh, uh, you know, beautiful teachers, you know, spiritual men. You know, it's all about sound doctrine, you know, all about, you know, uh, uh, salvation and the elect, no gimmicks. So we, 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 we were, we need to be, as the White House shot said, hold fast to that which thou hast, you know, because we got, you know, we, we, we're on the road to salvation. We just got to stay on, it, you know, but it's going to end very bad. Okay, it's going to end good for the elect, and it's going to end very bad for the rest, man. You know? Any brother had anything else? I got, uh, I got one more. And then that's all I got on my end. Um, this is Luke 21 and 34. And it says, and take heed to yourselves, at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with fighting and drunkenness and care of this life, and so that the day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye might be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. You know, so the main thing, because you go back to the beginning um dealing with noah they said they was you know drinking feasting giving into marriage so they was concerned with the cares of this life you know they didn't want to hear a message about their current situation ending you know because their thing you look at this society everyone is wrapped up in their own little personal world you know everybody is this main character and this celebrity in their own personal world you know and their mindset has them completely blinded. And just like, you know, the brother Yummy I was going into, the Lord wants them like that. You know, the Lord wants, all right, a, a portion of his people wrapped up in the cares of, of this life. You know, but we're warned to take heed to ourselves, not to get caught up in the cares of this life, man. You know, as we see, you know, where this thing is going, man, we should draw back more, you know, and have that single eye you know to towards staying on point hoping that we're worthy of salvation man you know hey okay, that's that's it on my end y'all any any brother had any close statement precept they want to end on i just want to say i just want to say real quick that we saying also we said that esau even we said that babylon the great is about to be destroyed you know and and which is America and you Americans, if you're not part of the elect, you're going to be destroyed right along with it. And here it is. You got the word strictly for so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, confusion the face. Those and those, uh, you know, those who, 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 you know, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Here it is. You got a chance to repent, you know, and in sincerity, this is why we, continue to do the video the lessons and it's for our people and it's, it's for a chance at salvation is what it's for you know so but hey if, if the lord got you if the lord have you in that state where you don't repent well, to hell with you come on bro yeah and the rest were blind and the elect they have received it and the rest were blind brother so yeah um we are in the deal. Um, like I said, the point being made, and there's no doubt about it, you know, that we are in the uh, pre flood era again. You know, so this time the Lord gonna flood this place, all right, with ICBM missiles, all right, which is gonna turn America into a lake of fire. And you people are gonna drown in fire, man. You know, it says Zechariah the 14th chapter. So, you know, it's just uh, for us, you know, this is. This is what we want. We we pray for this. When we pray for the destruction, you know, we pray, you know, the, for the deliverance. You know, this is what comes with it. You know, so we have full faith, you know, that the Lord, 
<laughs> all right, it is going to be a deliverer in these times, you know. So, Lord, will you, brothers, and you sisters, edify, you know, once again, we'll give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being an example to our younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully, shalom. Shalom, shalom.